the time has come we're moving well we're moving next wednesday oh my god my lips are so dry porty is having a nap hamish went and got me a lemon and lime he actually ended up getting some bigger than that and we're gonna give those ones to his stepbrother because we wanted ones more established what well, i did look at that outdoor furniture it's destroyed from the weather hamish also was at the shop with reese my well hamish's stepbrother does that make him my step i don't know how it works anyway my friend reese he um said that hamish saw this avocado tree and he was like oh Shannon will love an avocado tree, so we want me an avocado tree, is that not so cute? Um, I don't know if it's ever going to bear fruit, I don't know if they grow well here, but you know what, we've got an avocado tree, we're going to plant and we're going to see what happens. I washed some of your toys, and unfortunately you are also losing a few. We washed most of them, but any that were ripped are going to toy heaven, because you've got too many. Hey, you got too many toys. And here is a small portion of them <laughs> out to dry. He's got this one, which is a woolly. And then he's got his balls one too. Anyways, I was clearing it through my room. We've got some donation boxes. I can't really show you very well because my dress is... I mean, I guess we're moving anyways. Um, but lots of recycling. Oh, by the way, there's lots of Christmas gifts I'm wrapping as well and putting there. So some of that's Christmas stuff over there. Anyway, I'm clearing out behind me in these drawers. Found some like real old hair extensions and things and stuff like that. So anyways, I saw this. Guys, throwback. Also, they haven't changed their logo, eh? Like this was years ago, guys. I would not use this, but it's just kind of more for the memories. Do you guys remember this? Who has this or had it? It's not focusing. Oh my god. Iconic. We have the shades Selfie, XO, Deluxe, and Rebel. How cute. <laughs> it was way, way, way back before Colourpop was even like a huge brand, I think. And it was actually a huge success, this one was. And I don't know if I have any um, BH Cosmetics palettes. Because I want to like keep something of everything, you know. But then <laughs> I'm not a sentimental person, so my stuff I end up just like giving it to friends and things. But like most of the bottoms have like bottomed out of this stupid unit, so... I think this is going to get binned. There's just so much stuff. Look, everything's all jammed. And then I've got all my jewellery in here, so I'm just going to transfer it in these into boxes and then into my new walk-in wardrobe at the new house. In my filming room, there's a walk-in wardrobe, so I will be, yeah, popping all of that in there, I think. I might downsize a little bit, but for now... That's pretty much all fine. I don't think I'll really get rid of much yet until I like move in if I don't have, you know, if there's too much, I might cull it down. We'll just wait and see. Oh my God, who remembers? Who remembers? <laughs> wow. Yeah, just leave it the other way. Got my um, one million one as well, but it's so big. Oh my god, this space looks really small now that there's nothing in here. We still have to pick up the spa. Is there anything in here still? Oh my god, there's heaps of shit in here still. Wow. That's all my special stuff. Our wedding things. Okay, we're here to grab more of this right now. Soap. More stuff here. Mum's bright red. Look at your teething red. Oh, that's sore. Oh, you got crabby fingers on it. Oh dear. Oh no. It's a beauty filter, eh? It's a beauty filter. What is in your mouth, sir? Goodbye, old house. You were good to us. How many years have we lived here? Since 2014. Since 2014. Nine, eight years, nine years? I can't do maths right now, guys. I'm too tired. It's an end of an era. Alright, we finally found our camera team and our batteries. Zeus is behind the glass barrier. That's Zeus's toy. He's finally decided that he would like everything of the dogs, including their bowls, hence the reason that's up there. Where are we going? 
No. Sorry. No. Not for you. Don't look at me like that. Some in my bra. We're in the new house. Yay. This room isn't like sorted with furniture yet because we're waiting like four years for <laughs> couches to arrive. Broke another nail while I was moving and this one too. Louis just come to join us. Louis, that's actually Porter's toy. See, they steal each other's things now, just as I predicted. So yes, we moved. <clears throat> it was hectic. The most busy time ever. Up at like six, moving and unpacking until 11 o'clock at night, going to sleep, repeat. Um, didn't even think to pick up my camera in the end. It was just a crazy business because we had a timeline because we had like a skip bin and we had um, a trip to Paps and everything. Hi, honey. So we went to Paps. Didn't even take my camera because I just needed to relax. And I mean, there was a little bit of relaxing done. Not a whole lot. And then Porter and I, well, Porter got sick. <clears throat> and then I got sick. I'm still sick. He's still a little bit sick. But he's definitely on the mend. He's been teething since New Year's. It's just been a whole thing. So, vlogging was on the back burner, <clears throat> but I'm back. I say that all the time. I'm really disappointed in myself, actually, because I'm like, I'm going to vlog again, and then I don't. I'm going to vlog again, and then I don't. But I really want to, because I actually love vlogging. It's actually, like, one of my favourite things ever. I've said that so many times. And I also like editing them. Like, I don't really like editing my beauty ones. I don't know why. I have an editor for those, so I just kind of check over them. But my... Um, you know, follow me vlogs. I actually really enjoy doing myself and like just sitting there and you know doing it. It's just a time thing, honestly. There's so many things I want to do, and my news resolution was to start picking up more content and everything, like doing more content, but it's just time. Like, where do I find this time when obviously having a baby is so so demanding? You know what? Call me dumb, but I never actually had a good think about how demanding a baby would be, like time wise throughout the day <clears throat> but of course they are like hello I just never thought about it in depth so his favorite things right now on my phone he's climbing so he crawls not crawl crawl he's almost up on his hands and knees now but he's still kind of commando crawling mostly but he is getting up like he gets up like this <laughs> he wants to play that's not Louis doing anything dangerous by the way it's him playing <laughs> you want to do it? <laughs> Ready? Go get it. Um, <clears throat> he likes trains, apparently, Hamish reckons. <laughs> and yeah, he loves to climb. Like He'll climb all over me. He will climb um, on top of boxes. Just anything like that. He's just a climber. So I'm thinking about getting him one of those soft playgrounds to play on. But they say they're recommended for like three-year-olds. But I'm like, I feel like he would love it because he's just obsessed with climbing. So I don't know. Do you guys have any advice? Hi. Mm. He's like, Mum, who are you talking to? Yes, I tested for covid -ive. covid -ive. <laughs> Oh my God, this is literally my brain summed up. Tested for COVID and it was negative. <clears throat> I don't really have like the right symptoms. I do have a cough now, but no fevers or anything like that. Just, it just felt like a typical head cold like terrible nose and head and sore throat at first and now it's just a cough but I'm glad because I feel like whenever I get a cough it's like the last day um and then I usually start feeling a lot better it's been like three days like the first day I was like super tired nose was crap second day nose was crap um sore throat third day cough so hopefully we're over it almost anyways but man, it made me feel so awful for Porter. I was like, man, that's the first time he's been sick. Pretty good run. He's seven and a bit months old. Hi. <coughs> yeah, you like to scream, don't you? You like to scream. What's our plan today? Hang out, do some more unpacking, and your net is going to come over later. Yes. Yay! So we've got these side drawers. One of them, for now, I've just got Porter's things in to keep it easy. Um, but Hamish was just mentioning, he's like, oh, it's kind of annoying going into the scullery to do, like, to grab the oil and stuff. I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. We have these, <clears throat> so we could also have, like, you know, cooking stuff really accessible for when you cook. And I've got these Kmart 
square, draw, large, wide, whatever. I do need to tie this up. This is like this because this is how we shifted. We just chucked everything in these. But it does fit well. Like there's some space left over. I can put some new stuff at the back. But just real handy to be able to grab just anything we need in a pinch. Love that. I got so carried away putting away everything that I forgot to do before and after. But here's a during. I don't really know exactly how I want everything yet. It might change still with the microwave there and like sups, um, coffee stuff. I'll show you once it's done. All right, and here's the after. It's not perfect. I'm actually thinking of getting one of those people that do it professionally to come in and like sort it out for me because it still looks ugly, <laughs> but it's functional now. And we've been, yeah, just really not stressed about this area, but kind of because you can imagine like cooking and eating has been a bit of a mare because everything was packed in bags just like everywhere and we didn't know where anything was so <sighs> it was good we actually managed to clear out some like expired stuff too that you always find at the back of the cupboards like expired I'd like expired teas and nuts and stuff so yeah we've got like drinks mil milks and dog stuff and then supplements then we have nuts and cereals um, seasonings snacks what are those? Like pastas and rices, cans, porters things, baking things. I don't remember much because I don't really bake that often. Sweet stuff from Christmas leftovers, sauces, these like backups, you know, because we keep the open ones in the fridge. We've always got heaps of sauces. We're a saucy household. Um, there's a pepper grinder. I actually have a little tray that I've bought on farmers and the salt thing of this because we actually went to buy them, but the lady forgot to, because we bought heaps of stuff. We got like um, rugs, towels, homewares and stuff when we went shopping for the new house and she forgot to scan the salt and the tray so I just bought them online so they were delivered to Hamish's parents house and I'll go pick them up and then I'll probably just have them on the bench somewhere but yeah